Hello again, it's Army 2 Willis. I just wanted to do a quick video, uh, another full sale video for you guys. So, I'm at the end of week two for me. It's technically not the end. But, uh, I'm, I'm at the end of week two, pretty much, uh, work week related wise. And I just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea, like, where I am and what's going on. So, <clears throat> I'm at the end of week two. I got my week one grades, so I can kind of give you guys an idea, like, where that's going. I'm going to show you guys here. So, here we are. We're on the Full Sail website. I got my week one grades. You see, you got your overview. There's a bunch of assignments and stuff you have to do. And I just kind of want to talk to you guys about this, because, uh, Normally, I would do, like, one video a month for each class, and, you know, when I first started, it was during my second class when I was doing the videos and kind of give you guys updates as I go along, but, uh, I wanted to stop here because I want you guys to get an idea of just how heavy the workload is here. Like, as you can see, I got a 100 on this assignment, but a 90 on this one, and the reason being is that the workload... In this particular class, the TEM class, the technology and uh, entertainment, technology and entertainment and media, or something like that, it's TEM ten. Uh, it's very different from the class you take before. It's more professional based. It's it's going to be a crap ton of typing and writing and researching that you're going to have to do in this class. I want you guys to be aware of just how much work you're going to put into this class. It's going to be a heavy workload class. It appeared from the outside looking in right before starting this class because, you know, I get my assignments every Sunday where I can look in to the next week that starts and then on Monday starts the actual week. So that Sunday before when I looked in, it appeared like, ah, oh, this is going to be a lax class. That's good. The last class was kind of heavy in the beginning and kind of relaxed later on. Excuse me, yawning, it's kind of late here, what I'm putting this up, but, uh, it was, the last class went from easy to hardcore in the middle towards, it, it started to calm down at the end. And the reason I say this is because this car, this class starts right back at that high end, so don't expect to take a break. I, I would say, as my advice to you guys, when you finish your third class do the work early so you can allow yourself a break towards the end for me it was extremely difficult because this class started right at thanksgiving time for me so they only gave us an extra day because of the holiday for thanksgiving itself they still expected us on that wednesday and that friday to utilize that time to get the work done so given that i usually give myself a few days to do the assignment to try to stretch it out and uh, give myself breaks so that I don't, you know, overwork myself and stress myself out. But they kind of went away in that first week because you don't have a lot of time to do these assignments and whatnot. Uh, I'm going to show you what I got and the reason why I got a 90 and not a 100. So we're going to scroll down here and you're going to see that my teacher, Mr. Pina, he told me that I got... The project turn-in format and spelling was all good. The industry websites discussed were all good. He said where I lost points, where I only got 5 out of 15, was making it mine. He felt I didn't really go in enough detail to really make it my own and not just be generic. And that's where you can lose a lot of points. Sure, I still have an A. Because I met all the other criteria exactly the way he wanted it. And I did make it my own somewhat. Which is the reason why I don't have an 85 and I have a 90. But he wanted more. And you, you're you going to have teachers that great heart. So I'm sure there's gonna, my buddy who I told you guys and you guys have heard from if you watched my last video. Who put his opinion on things. He's pretty much had teachers on the most part that grade more lax than the ones I've had. So... You might have a teacher that gives you a 95 instead of a 90 like I got. Or you can have a teacher that grades even harder. Oh, excuse me again. A teacher that grades even harder. And if you do, then you could end up with the 80. 
the baseline for this class as you see here I'm gonna go to it minimum requirements just meeting the minimums will give you somewhere around the 80 now it says 80 as if you're gonna guarantee get an 80 meeting the minimum requirements does not give you a guaranteed 80 you can come out 10 points less than 80 you can come out 10 points higher it all depends on the amount of work you put into the assignment so I highly recommend to you guys after getting my week one grades that you put in the maximum amount of effort into all your assignments you do here just to give you guys a big idea of how much work you got to put into these assignments I'm gonna go into my week two just so you guys can see how much more work I'm expected to put into the assignments so uh, we're gonna go to discussion and we're gonna go to my post so you're required to do a paragraph or more of responses to each person you respond to and as you see here this was my personal assignment there is a lot of writing involved you have to cite your sources I added a picture just for extra flavor to try to earn some extra points so I can get as close to the highest grade possible and that's just that assignment that don't even include what I had to turn in for this assignment this is on the industry terms and whatnot so I'm going to see if I can pull this up so this is what I did for my industry terms here so as you can see I wanted to do a different format than the generic what you expect just to be creative because being creative is really how I'm gonna come out and get those extra points like I did in the other classes and I see that based on what I what came out of the first week and generally it seems like in each of my classes the first two weeks when I'm gauging how the instructor will grade my assignments that's how I did that's how I push myself in the weeks following so I was like oh it's gonna be a lax class and I was kinda lax in that first week and it cost me in one of my in one of my assignments those heavy 10 points that I'm gauging for as you guys know I'm striving for the ultimate success so I'm trying to get as many A pluses as possible and finish with a 4.0 GPA not because I have to but strictly I feel like pushing myself to be the best at the end of all of this I will look back and I'll say I did my best regardless of what the grades come out to be I did my best no regrets I put in the best effort that's the reason why I push for the highest and everything I really 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 advise you guys to do the assignments to communicate with some other teammates and get that buddy that you can have look over your stuff for you and communicate with your instructor as I'm gonna show you guys in a second after I finish showing you some more pages of this assignment I did I provided my own pictures that way I don't have to you know cite any pictures all these pictures are all pictures I took myself they're not the best quality but hey they're, they're my own you know they're mine but yeah that's this is uh what I did what I got going and this was my my plan but what I wanted to show you guys was just how much so like uh, let's go back to week one because week one is where I had a lot of questions I was like you know this assignment like what 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 exactly maybe it wasn't this one maybe it wasn't week two sometimes you get lost in this stuff so here I, there's one in week one as well I'll have to find it and I'll probably uh, tell you guys where but you know I asked questions I was asking them do my references have to come directly from developers or can they be YouTube gamers talking about FPS because that's one of the terms that I have as you guys can see here there's a lot of terms for a lot of different degrees here and the reason they have you doing this because they want you to see how this all ties in to whatever you're doing if you're doing game development all of these degrees are required to make a game 
all of it. All of it's going to be used. So it's important to ask your instructor questions. It's important to take the time to really go over and be like, okay, how is this? What do I need for this? In this class, and unlike a lot of the classes, the core essentials, you actually have things that count as part of your grade. So not doing these things, as you see here and here, will actually cost you points towards your grade. And you don't want that because, as you see, just getting that one grade as a 90 brought me down to a 95. And now the highest grade I can get is a 98. That means if I get any more 90s, it'll drag the grade down slowly. So you got to really pay attention to what it is you're doing when you're going through these courses and assignments. Uh, And that's the reason why I wanted to make this short video. It's kind of like a a mid month three. Uh, again, I will be making another video for you guys in like about a, a week, two weeks from now, when I get the laptop in, and I'll kind of do an unboxing and show you guys what you get with the laptop. Go over the specs of the laptop and kind of on my own personal use, I will compare the laptop to my PC specs, and I will compare the laptop to the average. PC specs in the industry and I'll do some benchmarking to kind of show you where the laptop falls in today's standards so you guys get an idea of what it's going to be like to game on it what it's going to be like to use it and do workloads on it I'll pull up uh, Unity, Lumberyard and Unreal on the laptop and pull it up on computer just so we could do some speed tests and kind of compare them and show you guys what's going on anyway this was Army 2 Willis I kind of wanted to just take some time to show you guys what was going on with school and go over this because it it was something that popped up to me now that I got my grades back from week one, just to give you guys a more detailed idea of what's going on in class. Anyway, I thank you guys for taking the time to watch, and this was Army 2 Willis.